Welcome back to Behind the Wheel. In episode one, Fergus and Ahmed spoke about how closely we work with our community. This time, we thought we'd just show you. We have eight players visiting the studio for a workshop right now. Let's go see what they're up to. Donc le fait de pouvoir rencontrer les développeurs, c'est quand même vachement intéressant sur le fait qu'on peut leur poser les questions qu'on se pose nous quand on est chez nous derrière notre écran. C'est comme like, uh, parler à un autre joueur qui est aussi intéressé dans le vidéo, le même jeu et vraiment uh, really passionné sur ça. Mais la différence est que c'est la personne qui fait le jeu. Je pense que c'était juste parfait en général. Je pense que c'était parfait pour la communauté, pour les community, for the devs et pour le jeu en même temps. C'était cool de rencontrer les joueurs et de parler à eux face à face and also listening to their feedback. It's also an interesting opportunity to meet them in person, getting to put a face to the forum username. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I'm a consumer and market knowledge analyst here at Ubisoft Ivory Tower. My job is to interact with players through surveys, discussion groups, and of course, community workshops. Our goal this week with our community members is to discuss the state of the game and understand their expectations for The Crew 2. We are having very interesting work sessions where players are discussing with the development team and sharing their ideas for the future of the game. I'm Lucas, User Research Project Manager here at Ivory Tower. One of my jobs on The Crew 2 was to organize user test sessions all along the development of the game. We invited players to come here in this dedicated room in order to test all the aspects of the game as soon as they were ready to. We tested simple things like UI, menu and tutorials, and also complex ones like driving sensation and difficulty curve. User test sessions are for us one of the best ways to gather feedback from our community. It helps us to see what player lacks and what needs to be improved. It helps us also to see what works and what needs more polish. That about wraps things up. Thank you again for joining us for this second episode of Behind the Wheel. Keep your eyes peeled for episode three for when it drops. We've got a lot more Dev Insights to share with you. We'll see you next time.